Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and today we're going to be taking a look at what might go down as my favorite red dot of the year. With up to 100,000 hours of battery life, this is the Holosun HS507C. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll start off like normal. We'll first talk about the tech specs and features, and then we'll move on. I'll give you guys my personal experience and my opinion on this optic right here. But first, talking about the tech specs, there's quite a bit to cover because this thing really is feature rich. I mean, it has a lot to offer, and they were very smart in the way that they designed this particular optic. This optic does come with the Picatinny mount, and it is tough enough where you could use it on a rifle, you can use it on a shotgun, you can use it on pretty much any weapons platform. It has a very thick cover to it and a nice thick body that's made out of 7075 aluminum so it's a really nice strong uh, and thick well-made aluminum this particular one right here has a battery cover which is located underneath the optic itself so instead of having an exposed battery that's going to sit on your slide or on the rail or on whatever mount you're using this is actually a nice covered um, battery compartment which helps keeps it waterproof also helps make a better connection so unlike the rmr which has an exposed battery compartment at the bottom which sometimes could run into some connection issues if you have a cerakoted slide or some type of paint or issue with oil or debris getting in there this one's not going to experience that so it does have that nice sealed battery cover again 7075 t6 aluminum fully multi-coated lenses uh lens excuse me it does have solar power this has a complete solar panel on the top right here and this solar panel will collect light and allow you to shoot with no battery even installed so that's one of the nice things about this you don't even need a battery in circumstances where there's a complete power outage maybe it is some type of emergency where you just don't have access to batteries uh, or your batteries just have accidentally run dead but you still need an optic that's where this solar power is really going to help out and it'll automatically kick in when the battery goes dead as well so that's nice it uses one single cr2032 battery and like i said earlier the battery life is up to 100,000 hours which is 10 years of battery life and how you accomplish that is on a medium setting using the standard to MOA dot this actually has three different reticles which is really nice three different reticles the first reticle is going to be that single to MOA dot the next reticle is going to be a circle dot so very similar to what you're expecting from like an EOTech or a lot of the other uh, Holosun optics that have come prior to this so you get that really nice crisp circle dot and then the last reticle is a circle without the dot so it's really cool very nice big circle with no dot in the center so you can actually see your target a little bit better it's meant for extremely fast target acquisition and uh, i gotta say uh, that's probably my favorite is the circle without the dot but here's the thing it's not a 65 moa ring reticle like you might be used to because this optic is a micro optic that you can use on pistols they actually made it a 32 moa ring reticle so you have a 2 moa dot or a 2 MOA dot with a 32 MOA ring reticle. So I thought that was really nice. They cut down the size of the reticle and just kind of helps you, you know, take up a little bit less space in the viewing window so that you can actually see everything really well. And I like the fact that the dot is not extremely huge. Now, as far as the battery life goes when using the other reticles, you're looking at the standard for Holosun, which is about 50,000 hours, still about five years on one single battery and that's on medium setting using the other two reticles so still even if you decide not to use that tiny little 2 MOA dot and you decide to use one of the bigger reticles you're still looking at incredible battery life and that's one thing that Holosun is very well known for is their battery consumption now for those people that are wondering whether or not you're going to have any type of like point of aim point of impact problems when you're switching between reticles you're not going to have those issues because it uses the same projector so the projector itself never moves it's still pointing at the exact same place that you had it originally it simply projects a different reticle so that's never moving when you change the reticles that's one nice thing so you're going to maintain that that single point of aim and impact that you had prior to that it does have one half moa adjustment so if you need to make those adjustments Adjustments. you have your windage and your elevation adjustments which are located flat they are kind of small you would need a 
not necessarily a coin. I don't think a coin is going to fit in these, but a small screwdriver, even like an eyeglasses screwdriver or something like that you can use. They also do provide you a tool, which is really nice. Now, obviously you can see that I have this mounted on a pistol. One of the smart things that Holosun did is they actually designed the footprint of this optic to somewhat mirror the RMR. Being smart and knowing that the RMR is probably the most popular uh, red dot that people have on their pistols right now, they know that the RMR cut obviously goes along with that and that most slides that are cut out are cut out for the RMR. So having that same footprint means you can install this in your RMR cut and you can use it. However, the screws that this came with didn't fit. They were a little bit too long and so I actually had to file down the screws just a little bit in order to get them to fit on this pistol. So that was just me. You can always order screws that'll fit with the RMR cut. Uh, because I was using the RMR on a different uh, slide, I actually had to modify these screws right here. But just taking about a sixteenth of an inch off of the screws that they provided meant that it fit absolutely perfectly in my slide. And this is an Alpha Shooting Sports uh, EDC V3 slide for my Glock 19. Now here's the thing, with recoil, you always wonder, you know, which, which optics are gonna work, which ones are gonna be able to handle the recoil. And a little slide like this moves extremely extremely fast and I had absolutely no problems with it at all it cycles really good it works really well I never had any problems with the dot going out so it, it's worked really good and it's a very very tough little optic now this optic works off of two buttons that are located on the side these two buttons right here will operate everything from your up down brightness intensity which there are 10 daylight and two night vision settings believe it or not even for an optic of this price uh, which right now I think is about $299 and you can go over to Optics Planet, use my discount code TDS5. This was actually sent to the channel by Holosun, but since they sell it at Optics Planet, and Optics Planet tends to have the better prices, and you can use my discount code, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link to it down below so you guys can check it out. But I think it's going for about $2.99 at the time of this video, but remember, this video stays up for a long time, so if you guys are seeing this later on, go ahead and click the link and see what the current pricing is, because sometimes it'll even go on sale. Now, back to the buttons here. You use these buttons right here, you can hold down the rear button, and it'll change the uh, whether or not you want to use this on the solar or you want to use it on manual so if you're using it on solar it'll automatically change and dim the settings depending on how much ambient light is hitting that solar panel or you can just simply hold one of the buttons down switch it over to battery mode where you're running just simply off battery alone or you can go ahead and you can hold down another button for a few seconds and it'll change through the reticle design so you can go through the reticles again change your brightness with those two buttons it does co-witness nice. I have a Mariglow tall suppressor sights on here and uh, it co-witnesses pretty good. They stick up just towards the bottom. So I'm going to say it's like the bottom 10 or 15% of the optic. I would have to bring it all the way down in order to line those up, but I can still co-witness it no problem. So if I do have a problem with this optic, uh, it does co-witness nice with suppressor sights. Now that we got some of the tech specs out of the way, we talked about the features. Let me go ahead and give you guys my personal experience with this because honestly, it, it it probably is going to end up being my favorite red dot of the year. Unless something absolutely incredible comes out a little bit later on down the road, I don't see anything uh, kind of getting me more excited than this particular optic right here because there are just so many features packed into this little thing that it blows me away what they're able to do with it. You know, Holosun has really come a long way. I've been using Holosun optics since I think 2014. Uh, the first one I bought was the HS403A. Then I had the 503G, the 503GU, the 515C, the 510C, now the 507C and so forth. So I've been using Holosun optics and I can tell you all about them and the quality's only been getting better and better year after year. And as they listen to their customers, they always seem to come out with some really cool upgrades and ideas. You know, they don't just sit stagnant and release the same thing year after year. They always come up with something that people were asking for. And I just love the fact that this thing's packed with features. I own the RMR. I've been using an RMR for a long time and I gotta say, I absolutely 100% jo no joke like this better I like the way that it looks I like that you get a nice high viewing window it's a little bit higher than the RMR so you get a nice high viewing window which means I can move my dot around in there a little bit more and as long as the dot is on the target then you're good to go you know one of the nice things about a red dot is <clears throat> excuse me it means that you don't have two separate aiming points anymore. You have one singular aiming point. So before where you'd have to line up the front sight and the rear sight and sight radius would become an issue. That's why a lot of people use the Glock 34 and, and, and longer slide uh, guns for competition is because of the sight radius. You don't have to worry about sight radius. You can have a gun this short like the Glock 19 and be as accurate as some guy with a, a rifle length sight radius simply for the fact that you only have one aiming point. You put this thing out in front of you and as long as the dot's on the target you're good to go. So I like the tall 
aspect of this particular site. It's not wide, so it's just a, just a hair over the width of the pistol itself, and it feels really good. It's easy to pick up. When I hold it out in front of me, it gets ridiculously bright. I mean, ridiculously bright. And when you have this thing on the circle dot and you pop it out in front of you, it just shows up right in your vision right away and you could take your accurate shots uh, really quickly. So I've had a really good experience with this optic. It's worked really well for me. I haven't had any downfalls or anything with it. Um, I've shot several hundred rounds and not had a single hiccup. So I, I'm liking it quite a bit so far. When I say that I like this more than the RMR, there's a reason for it. The RMR is a workhorse. It is a great optic, but it's not without its faults. It's had its faults over the years with optics shutting off in the middle of firing. It's had problems with battery connectivity and things like that. It's a tank, it's a workhorse, but this right here to me feels just as tough but with some added features, like for instance, the battery cover and some of the other things that they've added here. The walls of this are so thick and the glass, if you put your finger in there and you hold on to the glass, this is not thin, cheap glass. This is very thick glass. I'm gonna say the glass on this is probably a quarter of an inch thick. So it is really nice, thick glass, very tough. Obviously it being shockproof, waterproof, and I think it's tested to something like 5,000 Gs. So 5,000 Gs of force that this thing can handle. I mean, you're not gonna break this even if you try it. So if you're talking about the RMR in this versus durability, you're getting the durability out of both of them, absolutely without a doubt. But with this one right here, you're just packing it with extra features that you're just not gonna get with the RMR at about half the price. As a matter of fact, 299, I paid over $600 for my RMR. So over $600 for the RMR and you're getting basically double the features in an optic like this. So I think that's really cool. And I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I've taken it to one competition so far. At that competition, I did switch it over to the 2MOA dot just so I can get some more precise shooting. But it picks up real nice. At the brightest setting, it's ridiculously bright. And I feel that it's a nice, accurate little red dot as well. So the Holosun HS507C definitely is in there for those people that are looking for something that's good, that's quality. Maybe you're on a budget. For instance, the slide from Alpha Shooting Sports, I'll also put a link down to this slide below. The slide plus this RMR, or excuse me, the slide plus this Holosun right here, I think are about the price of what I paid for my RMR. So, you know, it just kind of adds a little bit more value and, and uh, kind of allows you to spend a little bit more money or maybe just spend $299 or something like that on this optic right here. And then the other money that you would have spent on ammo so you can actually train with it. That's uh, one thing I like to do. I always like to spend a lot of money on ammo. Anyway, Holosun HS507C, very cool. Check it out in the link down below. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.